Welcome to Simply Logical. This is Vinkesh. A graphic shows several watermelons which have been cut into a halves and three quarters. We are asked to determine how many watermelons are in the picture. A graphic has been seen in heavy social media circulation and includes a caption that reads, "99 percent will fail this. How many watermelons are here?" Despite obvious grammatical problems, the meme has elicited a measure of debate among social media users. It seems obvious that the 99% statistic was probably manufactured or only included as clickbait, as there are multiple interpretations of the graphic which lead to different answers. The wide variety of responses shows that there is no single answer with a 99% consensus. Pause the video, give a try before checking the solution. and do comment your answer in the comment section once done keep watching the video for the right answer let me explain the solution now here are the three most popular answers if you think the answer is 8 watermelons some people have pointed out that the meme asks how many watermelons you see not how many whole watermelons this logic has led some people to suggest the only possible answer is 8 consisting of 4 halves and 4 three quarter melons it has been noted that the meme doesn't state that partial melons need to be added together thus 8 watermelons could be the answer and if you think the answer is 6 watermelons another theory is to examine how many melons it would have taken to create this image in that case the answer would be 6 this is achieved by adding the four three quarter melons to two full melons which were cut in half to create the four halves if you think the answer is 5 watermelons and another possible solution is to fit the available pieces into a mathematical equation in this case we have four three quarter melons plus four half melons which could be represented mathematically as 4 times 0.75 plus 4 times 0.5 which is equal to 5 as i have explained this watermelons question have several possible solutions depending on how you approach the problem So although we suspect this graphic may have been created as clickbait but it does pose an interesting question that has several possible solutions depending on how the problem is approached which answer do you think is most correct do comment your answer in the comment section for the record the first answer i came up with here was 5 do comment your observation and your findings in the comment section that's all for this video Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting riddle. Thank you.